Hi, it's Chester at Blue PK and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at creating histogram charts. I'm going to look at three different methods. The first will apply to anyone who has versions of Excel 2016 or later. Then I'll look at how to create a histogram chart in Excel 2013 or earlier. And then I will also look at a way of creating histogram charts using the analysis tool pack, which is an add-in within Excel. So let's look at how to create histogram charts in versions of Excel 2016 or later. But first of all, let's discuss what the histogram chart will actually achieve for us. Here I've got a list of members in our local horticultural club and I've got their ages. And I want the histogram chart to show me the distribution of ages within the club. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to group the ages in brackets of 10 years. And those groupings in histogram terms are known as bins. We'll see how this works. So how do I create the histogram chart? What I do is I just click into my data and then I go up to the insert tab on my ribbon. And in the charts group, you'll see that there is a button for statistic charts. If I click on that, there is the histogram chart. Click on it there and I get the default histogram chart. It's gonna move the chart over a little bit and I want you to observe the values that are on the horizontal axis. Now these are the default bins or the default grouping. So 22, 39 means ages 22 to 39, then 39 to 56, 56 to 73, etc. So I can tell from this chart that there are five people in this age bracket, 14 people in this age bracket, and 17 people in this age bracket. The first thing I want to do, however, is change these bins. I want to group in 10 year age brackets. Now to change the bin values, double click down on the horizontal axis, and that'll open up the format axis task pane on the right of your screen. And in the axis option section, which is open on mine, but you might need to expand it, you can see that the bin size is set to automatic. Now I'm going to set my bin width or my bin size to 10. You can see now that it increases the number of bins, the number of columns within my histogram chart, and the bin sizes are now 10 or 10 years. Now I want my age brackets to start at 25 to 35, 35 to 45. And the way I can do that is to go to my underflow bin setting and input a value of 25. If I press enter, you can see now that this underflow bin captures any ages that are less than or equal to 25. So at the moment, I only seem to have one person in my horticultural club that has an age under 25. If I scroll down, I can see that that is member 16. If I change member one's age to 25, you can see that it increases the number of people in that bin. So these bin labels are a little bit ambiguous because it looks as though someone who is 25 should end up in this bin and this bin. But really, someone will only end up in the second bin if they are 26 or over. So if I change member one to 26, you can see that they end up in this bin. Now I'm going to double click back on my horizontal axis and what I can do here is also set an overflow bin. So this overflow bin will capture all ages over the age I specify. I'm going to say that that is 85. Now if I scroll over a little bit, you can see now that I have a bin that tells me that four people are within that age bracket over 85. If I make member one's age 85, they get put in the 75 to 85 bracket. If I make them 86, they get put in the overflow bin bracket. I double click back on the horizontal axis. The other thing I can do here is specify the number of bins. So at the moment I have eight bins. If I click into that radio button and specify 10, it would work out the bin brackets for me. Okay, I'm going to revert back to my previous settings of a bin width of 10. Now, it might be useful to show data labels on these columns within the histogram chart, but to do that, I go up to the 
plus button, chart elements, top right of the chart. And there I have the option for data labels. I could probably then take the grid lines off and also the vertical axis. Then I'm going to add some axis titles. Down here I can have age brackets. And here I can have number of members. Chart title. Okay, so that's how to create your histogram chart in Excel 2016 or later. Let's look at how to create a histogram chart in Excel 2013 or earlier. Unfortunately, there isn't a chart type in those versions of Excel that will automatically give you a histogram chart. So we have to do a little bit of work up front. The first thing to do is to create a table like this and in the first column specify your age brackets or your bin sizes. So the way Excel will read this is that the first value indicates the first bin 0 to 25. Then the second value would indicate that there is a second bin from 26 to 35. Then the third value would indicate the third bin is 36 to 45. So that's how Excel will read this data. Then over in another column, we need to use the frequency function to work out how many people are in each of these age brackets. Now to use the frequency function, the first thing you do is you select all the cells that you want to result in. And we need to select all these cells adjacent to the age brackets that we've written plus an extra cell. So we get our overflow value, 85 and over. Then we enter the frequency function and frequency has two arguments, data array and bins array. So data array is the data that you're doing the frequency calculations on. So that's over here in our example, column B. Click into B2, control shift down arrow key, control backspace to go back up to the top. Then our second argument is bins array. So that's these bins over here. I close the bracket. Now, if you're using the frequency function in Excel 2013 or earlier, you do need to enter it as an array formula. To enter it as an array formula, you have to use Control Shift Enter rather than just Enter to confirm your formula. So Control Shift Enter gives you your frequency calculations, how many people are in each age bracket. Now, when you use Control Shift Enter to confirm a formula, you'll notice that you get these brace brackets on either side of your formula. These values here are exactly the same as the values that were calculated in our previous histogram chart. You can see 13789975 corresponds exactly to these values here. Now the next task is to create the horizontal axis labels for our chart. And these are going to look a bit like these labels across the bottom of this chart. In fact, they're going to be less ambiguous. We've already discussed these numbers are ambiguous, but we're going to take that ambiguity away. The first bin you're going to have to write in your value for. So we're going to say less than or equal to 25. And then we can write a little formula for the next lot of bins. We're going to say equals this value plus one is 26 to 35, this next bin. I'm going to want a hyphen between the 26 and the 35. I used an ampersand and then a hyphen in brackets and then another ampersand to join it to this value here. And I get 26 to 35. If I copy this down, then the last bracket will be greater than 85. Okay, so now I can select those two columns and I can create a column chart. To do that, I go up to the Insert tab on my ribbon and there is a Column Chart button here. I just go for the clustered column chart type. Now, it looks nothing like a histogram chart at the moment. We need to close the gaps between these columns. Now, to do that, double click on one of the columns and that will bring up the Format Data Series task pane on the right of your screen. Decrease the gap width to zero, and now you have something looking like a histogram chart.
Now I can do the same job in terms of adding data labels and go up to my plus button here. I'll take the grid lines off. I can add my axis title and chart titles in the same way. So I'll just do that quickly for you. Now, arguably, this chart is better than the automatic chart that's created in later versions of Excel because these age bracket labels are less ambiguous. So even if you have a later version of Excel, you may want to consider using this method instead. Okay, let's look at the third and final option you have for creating a histogram chart. And that is to employ the analysis tool pack. Now to activate the analysis tool pack, you go to File, and then Options, Add-ins, click on Go, and tick this option here, Analysis Toolpack. It won't be ticked by default. Click on OK. And then on the Data tab on your ribbon, over on the right-hand side, you have an Analysis Group, and there's your Data Analysis button. Select Histogram, click on OK. And then the first thing to do is specify an input range, the range of cells that you're doing the calculation on. That's our ages. Control shift down arrow key, control backspace. Bin range is your age brackets over here. And then output range, you can either have it on the same sheet or on a new worksheet or a new workbook. Well, we're going to output it to this sheet in cell H1. Click on OK. And there you have it. These are the same values that we've calculated on the other sheets. And again, what I would do is I would create a column chart double click on a column and then change the gap width to zero and then you could add all your axis labels and chart titles as we've done in the previous examples. The downside of using this method is these values do not update if I update my original data. So for example if I change member one's age to 21 I don't see any change in this data here. If I did it in the other versions Let's change member one's age to 21 here. You can see that it updates the calculations here. And obviously we've already seen that that also works in the 2016 version as well. So out of all three methods, I think I prefer the method where we use the frequency function. Despite the fact we have to do a little bit more work, it does give us these less ambiguous x-axis labels. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been helpful. If it has, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.